This is the final part of the upgrade. We look at analytics. Upgrading analytics requires essentially two things. First, an upgrade and reconfiguration of the backend. And second, an upgrade of the analytics web UI plugin. First, we stop the backend and the data store. You can use the backend service in Service Manager if it's there. We rename the old backend directory and copy the version 24 directory in its place. Then we fix the configuration file, ucxeddda.ini, with the usual, like the TLS information. We then copy the new web UI plugin analytics.jar file in the auto install directory. Make sure you remove the old one. Finally, in the web UI plugin analytics directory in awi slash config, make sure you fix the plugin properties file. You'll need to specify the AE host and the API key, which you can extract from the database if you don't know it. First, we stop the backend service. Note that in version 24, services like Rule Engine and Streaming Platform are gone, and so the Service Manager config files will need to be adjusted. We're in the Analytics directory of the installation package. We're going to copy the backend directory to our existing Analytics instance. We can update ucxeddda.ini with all the relevant information. We set the JCP path and the path to the certificates. You could use the CA Search Trust Store, but since Analytics is normally isolated on a dedicated host, we can just set it up here. The old application.properties file contains important information, so we create a new file in the new directory and copy that information over from the old one. If you have specific settings in the old application.properties file, make sure they're reflected here. Also check the connection string since the coding might have to change because of UTF-8. Finally, all settings associated with the event engine and rule engine should be removed. The backend side of the operation is over. We can move to the AWI host and look at the analytics plugin. We have to copy the version 24 web UI dash plugin dash analytics dot jar to the auto install directory of AWI. Finally, if you run into issues, make sure that your plugin properties is properly configured with the AE host name and the API key. Plugin properties is found in the AWI directory and then config. We head to the Web UI plugin analytics directory. If you need the API key, you can retrieve it from Postgres. Make sure the data store is started. That makes the database accessible with psql or pg4 admin. Using psql, access the analytics database with the dash d option. You can use the Postgres for analytics accounts. Make sure you enter the right port as well. It will default to 5432. This produces two numbers, and the top one can be copied and pasted into plugin properties.
In the last step, we have to repeat all of the steps we performed for the agent. You'll need to install CAPKI and upgrade the Service Manager. You'll have to make the appropriate adjustments to the Service Manager files, SMD and SMC. You should remove the Event Engine, the Rule Engine, and the Streaming Platform. As explained earlier, these changes should be reflected in the Application.Properties file as well. This is the reason we copied Application.Properties from the V24 install folder. Those settings have been removed. Check Java and the TLS certificate. Then, you restart Tomcat, start Analytics Backend and Service Manager, and test Analytics. If your data is there, you're up and running.